In this lesson, we're multiplying fractions using area models. Let's go ahead and use an area model to figure out the product of 2 thirds and 1 half. For an area model, what we do is we draw a square to begin with. After we draw the square, we go ahead and look at that first factor there, 2 thirds, that first fraction there, and we think about that. Is that the 2 that tells us how many parts things are divided into, or is it the 3? It would be the 3. And then so we're going to use this number right here, that 3 parts, and we're going to go ahead and draw horizontal lines within our square for that for those thirds. And I'm going to go ahead and draw those in orange. Our horizontal lines are coming in, in orange. So it's in three parts, horizontal. Next, I'm going to look at that other fraction and the one-half. And I'm going to look at my denominator for one-half. My denominator tells me to divide things into two parts. And in my area model, this is going to be my vertical lines. My vertical lines and the two parts. And so if I look, this here, if I divide it into two parts, I would just be dividing it like that there into two parts. And so I'll go ahead and do so. Now what I do is I go ahead and shade again for the two-thirds and for the one-half. And so for two-thirds, I'm shading two of those three parts. And then so remember when we had divided this horizontally into thirds, I'm going to shade up in two of those three parts. For one half, I'm going to go ahead and shade in the model for one half, one of those halves. And so as you see here, remember I had divided it vertically. All that green is the one half. Now those parts that are shaded by both is what it is that we're counting at this point. And then so there's one and two parts that are shaded completely there by both of those colors. Two, both blue and green there. And how many total are there? There's six total. So we have two six. So two thirds times one half is equal to 2 6. Here's the area model again for 3 fourths times 2 thirds. And so I take a look at that first fraction, 3 fourths. And remember that was horizontal. And so we divide it into 4 parts. And we're going to look at 3 of those parts, so I'll shade it in right now. Now, we take a look at the other fraction, and that's the fraction we haven't worked with yet. And for that fraction, we'll work in blue. That is vertically. And we're going to divide that same model vertically, and we're dividing it into thirds. The denominator tells us what we need to divide it into. And then so, as you see, I divided it into thirds at that point. And it says to color in two of those thirds. Here's one third, and there's two thirds. And then so I will color those in blue. As you see, I've colored in one of those thirds already, and I'm working on the second third. And so now you see that I've colored in two of those three parts, one two of those three parts. This one right here, the other third, is not shaded in at all. Two out of the three parts are shaded. 
Now, our product here of those two multiplication problems is those that are completely shaded by both colors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And so we put a 6 in the numerator. Count up the total number of parts that there are. How many are there? 12 is what you should have said. So 3 fourths times 2 thirds is equal to 6 twelfths, which if we write it in simplest form, 6 divided by 6 and 12 divided by 6, 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 3 fourths times 2 thirds is equal to 1 half. 6 out of those 12 parts are shaded. Here we have 3 fifths times 2 thirds. I'll help you out a little bit before I ask you to hit pause. To divide this into 5 parts, what we do is we draw 4 lines. So that there's 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and 5 fifths. Your other fraction is going to be drawn vertically. What you could do if you don't have colors is to go ahead and shade in one direction and shade in the other direction. Go ahead and hit pause and do your work. If we work with this first one, three-fifths in blue, we already have it divided into five parts. We just have to look at three of those five parts. Next, we look at two-thirds, where it is we'll go ahead and work in red. And in working in red, we're going to go ahead and divide that area model into three parts. And we're going to do so vertically. One and two, so it's three parts. This is one-third and two-thirds, so I'll go ahead and shade that in. So I've shaded in two of those three parts. Now, the product of three-fifths and two-thirds, then, is those that are shaded by both of those colors. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you should have had six in your numerator, and you should have had 15 in your denominator. And again, you could have counted these up. This is a 3 by 5 here. 3 times 5 is 15. Huh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 6 fifteenths. 6 fifteenths still needs to be simplified. Did you simplify it? I hope so. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So 3 fifths times 2 thirds is equal to 2 fifths. I have 1 half times 3 fourths. This is our review to close out our lesson. First we'll draw a square. Then we'll take a look at 1 half. And is it the 1 or 2 that tells us how many parts to divide this into? It's the 2. Now do we do it vertically or horizontally? Right, we do that horizontally. At that point, we can go ahead and shade in for the 1 half. How many of these two are we going to shade in? Right, just one of them. So we shade that in. Next, we're ready to work with the other fraction. What's the other fraction again? Right, 3 fourths. Is it the numerator or denominator that tells us how many parts to divide this into? It's the denominator, right. And then so, we're going to take our blue and divide this into four equal parts, and we do so vertically. How many of those parts do we need to shade in? Correct. We need to shade in three of those parts. So one-fourth, two-fourths, and three-fourths. So I'll go ahead and shade those in. I've shaded those in now. Now our product, then, how many squares are there? I'm sorry, how many is this divided into? One, two, three, hmm, how many is it divided into? 
Did you say this is divided into eighths? Hope so. And how many are shaded by two colors? Three. So one half times three fourths is equal to three eighths. You'll notice that one times three is three, and two times four is eight. So that my area model matches up with what it is that I would do when I multiply these fractions, I just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. And that's using area models for multiplication of fractions.